Approximately four months ago, we discussed a strange event which occurred on Friday, September 11th, 2015, when a crane owned by the Bin Laden family fell at the Grand Mosque of Mecca, Islam's holiest site, killing 107. Breaking news, we want to bring you out of Saudi Arabia. A construction crane has collapsed at the Masjid al-Haram Mosque in Mecca. Authorities say at least 65 people were killed and more than 150 others are injured. Now, we want to bring you these pictures. This was the view just before the crane went down. Now, to give you some context for this mosque, the mosque surrounds Islam's holiest site, the Kaaba, where some two million people worship during the annual Hajj pilgrimage. Uh, these are pictures just coming into us here at CNN. I'm watching them with you at the same time for the first time. And you hear the sound and see the chaos. In our investigation, we discovered that this event symbolized the fall of Lucifer and the connection between Mecca and New York City. We also connected this incident to 9-11 and the 777 Judgment of Shemitah. Friday, February 5th, 2016. Once again, a huge construction crane plummeted onto the street. This time, it was in Lower Manhattan in the Tribeca neighborhood and it killed a Wall Street worker and left others injured. Oh, it broke! Holy! Oh, oh, holy! Oh, it crashed! Oh, I don't have to zoom oh. in! Interestingly enough, Tribeca means the triangle below Canal Street. This area is also simply called the Triangle. This is a reference to the pyramid and all-seeing eye. The crane was owned by Bay Crane, based in the New York City borough of Queens. Therefore, this equates the crane with a queen falling. Now we must ascertain just who that queen is. We know that the Queen Isis, also known as the Goddess Columbia, can be seen standing in the New York Harbor. We have also seen the dethroning of Queen Isis or Columbia shown to us during the Miss Universe pageant. There's, I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. It should be noted that this accident occurred 147 days or 21 weeks after the crane fell in Mecca's Grand Mosque. Both 147 and 21 each give us a 777 which connects this event with the judgment of Shemitah as well, just as the falling crane at Mecca's Grand Mosque did. Coming into us here at CNN, I'm watching them with you at the same time for the first time. And you hear the sound and see the chaos. It should be noted that this accident was only about 10 blocks north of the World Trade Center once again connecting this incident to 9-11 and the crash at the World Trade Center. We know that the attacks on September 11th on the World Trade Center was the beginning of the economic crash which led to the collapse of the stock market. Seven years after that, in 2008, the Dow dropped 777 points on the day of Shemitah. We were shown the connection with the number 777 and the crash once again with the crash of Flight 370, a Boeing 777 on March 7th, UTC time, 2014.
And we begin tonight with Flight 370. The major new clue was it deliberately brought down. All of this comes one year, four months after that plane vanished with 239 on board. The new clues from that piece of a wing discovered on a remote island. A number etched on the side tonight, authorities telling ABC News it matches a Boeing 777. This crane collapse killed David Witch, a trader who worked on Wall Street at a computerized trading firm. Once again, this shows us that the falling crane is connected with a coming economic crash for America, which is Mystery Babylon, the Queen Columbia that shall be dethroned. In reference to Babylon's fall, Revelation chapter 18 verses 7 and 8 declare how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. When we break down the meaning of the names involved in this incident, the spiritual significance behind it becomes apparent. David means beloved, which means a sorceress. The crane that came crashing down was from Queens. This means that the queen shall collapse and fall. See Revelation chapter 18, which tells us that Babylon has fallen. 73-year-old Thomas O'Brien, a resident of Easton, was also injured. Thomas means twin. O'Brien means descendant of the exalted one. Easton means noble power, prosperity, riches, and stones. The crane capsized onto Worth Street near Church Street. Worth means sufficiently good, important, and deserving to be treated or regarded in a specific way. Righteous, morally upright, honorable, pure, and guiltless. Church means the temple, the Lord's house, to swell, to be powerful, a heap and body. Therefore, the message here is as follows. The beloved witch or sorceress who is a queen shall collapse and fall, but the twin and descendant of the exalted one shall have noble power, prosperity, riches, and stones, because he was injured, defamed, mistreated, wounded, and wronged. Those who are of worth, sufficiently good, important, and deserving to be treated as pure and guiltless are the righteous. Those who are morally upright and honorable are the church. They are the temple of God, and the Lord's house shall swell as a powerful body. In closing, I will say this. The Most High is giving the world signs of what is to come. Earth-shaking events are occurring frequently and in rapid succession, warning of Yah's coming judgment. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? Are you scot-free? Amen. Shalom.